Hey y'all, I haven't done very many videos for my YouTube channel, so I thought I would do one for a friend of mine who has gotten the CTS wardrobe, but she's not been able to set it up very well. And um, I got it on my main, and this is my alt, so I loved it so much that I got it on my alt too. It really helps a lot. It, it is very easy to set up once you get a system going. Um, but it can be complicated, but it can be set up any way you want. And um, I just want to say that this was how I figured it out and what I did to set my system up. And you can set yours up any way you want and, and use any tags that you want, any organization, any, any how you want. Um, but in the RLV folder, make sure you don't go more than three folders in. You you can push it to four, but it's iffy. So, um, and I'll demonstrate that. But I thought that I would do this video to help a friend of mine and um, learn how to do a basic setup so she, you know, gets started. Um, to start, this morning I got the um, I got the system and where did I put the system it's in my body parts yeah here it is uh, you get a folder um, you can either get it in world at at Carlisle Thea's solutions the main store or you can get it on marketplace I'll link uh, the product in marketplace in your folder you get your custom display board which allows you to just cut that back on prims if you're really low on prims you don't even need to have anything out you can do everything via your HUD but it's nice to have the closet and you can just go click on it and it's really pretty or you can make your own using the custom display board uh, there's a manual for how to work it and you get a, f there's another folder called help that has your uh, wardrobe support group joiner. You res it and in local it'll tell you the link for the group in world for help. Um, there's an illustrated guide. You can wear that as a HUD. Me, I have to res them, things like that to make them bigger so I can read them. And then there's a written manual. There's also um, that well, there's a note card that leads you to an online man manual. And let's go to that. And on the online manual, look, you have your little introduction. It tells you what you can do. Then there's visual guides to it, to getting started. A getting started wardrobe. And then there are several videos that you can follow along. Uh, links to Whippy, wi Whippies, Wiki, <laughs> Whippies. <laughs> I think I need a nap. Wiki wardrobe samples, which is just samples of other people's wardrobes, so you can get an idea on how they set their wardrobes up and what you can do with it. This is how, this is kept up by. Um, Butterwap Princess, and I apologize if I mispronounced your name. Um, but like you can come in here right now, there's 48, and you can click on it, <coughs> and it'll take you to this person's uh wardrobe, and it, it'll show how they do their setup, how they categorize, and that really helped me out a lot. So be sure to come to this website and take a look at the other people, you know, what, what other people are doing with their wardrobes. And then you have how to buy, where to buy it in World on Marketplace, the, the highlights, um, getting started manual, the support group and what customers say. And then coming back in World here, the rest of this is self-explanatory. You have your closet, which I have already rezzed out. When you open your closet, the inside is a media prim, so turn on your media. Right now I don't have my media on. And then it will show your closet. 
of if it decides to load. Yeah, there we go. It it doesn't look very, you know, easy to see, but I'm I'm guessing there's a way to make it easier to see. I just haven't figured that out yet. I use the browser, it's easier for me. Then you have your wardrobe HUD, which I have already put on, and it's at the default position. And your wardrobe README and the email address that is custom for you and then what's new in this version. Now, uh, your settings button is these three red line, uh, green lines, and I have to make this bigger because I can't see it. <laughs> I need new glasses. So HUD size is what you wanna click, and then you set it for large. That helps me a lot. Or you can set it for s small, but you know, for me, large is what I need if it decides to okay there we go and then um, this button will take you to your wardrobe on my on in your browser and I've been in here before so I've got it set up for password Let's see if it works okay and um, go back here scan if you put a product that's in a box on the ground next to you and I haven't done this before so we're gonna do it together say like I've got the VIP gift from uh, truth hair that I haven't set up yet and its name's Carla so you can res that and then you can say scan and then it pops up with the menu and it says scan the name of it and I scanned it and it went to my wardrobe you go back to your wardrobe and hit refresh and there there it is of course it doesn't have the right picture but that can be fixed um, so let's go back here and I can open it up and I can accept it to a folder. Now that's the picture it's supposed to have. We'll fix that later. Okay, moving on. Let's delete that. Let's go back to this. So then you have share, which allows you to either keep it private, you can pick a person nearby, uh, there's nobody nearby me that I trust so I can't pick just anybody to see it or you can set it to public it's automatically set to plug it, it'll post the link in local chat you can pose yourself you can do the next pose you can stop posing yourself this one will res a stand this allows you to configure your stand. You got backdrops. You can show the backdrop. You can hide the backdrop. You can make it big. I don't use the pose stand. I use my own poses and I stand in front of the big white thing behind us. You can save camera angles. And then in setup, you can do your HUD size. You can say display mode, which will let you choose either HUD or browser. If you choose HUD, when you click the middle button here, it pops up in your HUD. Okay, you click it again and it goes away. And then if you choose catch up. Come on, SL. Okay, you choose browser. When you click this right here, it will take you into your browser. Um, you can lock the HUD. I usually lock it. I'll also move it to the side, and when I'm done with it, with this video, I'll make it to the like the medium size so it's not so big, since I already know that the buttons are. Um, you can suppress your IMs, which or messages which will stop it from saying stuff in local chat. 
you can choose your closet styles and you have a lot of closet styles to choose from and when you click on it it'll change it keep calm and open me or keep calm and dress up and then there's a loved one and I chose the flowers and you click the X to get out of that and you can reset your head from here there's a help button that will send you to the website so it's easy for you to easily find the website with the wiki and the links to the profiles and stuff. Yes, I want to delete that. Alright, so, and then you, of course you have your clothes. This will close or lower the, make it small. This will upload uh, whatever item it is you're working on automatically. This little square stops your poses. Come on. Okay, so this little, uh, these two arrows will change your poses. It will pose you. And you are, you're able to load different poses into this and it'll automatically pick it up. I, you know, you could also change the lighting style. The person on the, uh, this person here on the little disc, this is the pose stand button. And, it, and when you click it, it raises, raises the pose stand where you can choose between female poses or male poses or no poses. And this is camera, I, I think. I'm not really sure what it's doing. It's not doing anything. Huh. <laughs> okay, it's not doing anything, so I don't know what that is. Alright, so let's go over to the website. You have a lot of things that you can do on the website. Don't be afraid to look around on it or work with it. This button is the refresh button so after you make changes you can click on refresh and it will add those changes to it and if you click gifts a window will pop up with uh, links to stores that have free stuff that will start you off the important button you will use a lot in the way that I do it and it has different ways that you can um, import your items and I use either upload images a lot or s I use import from marketplace most because that's just easier for me to go find the item that I have and import it from marketplace with tags and stuff and I'll show both ways um, tools you can the ones that I use the most I created a link for daddy and I can manage those links. Um, I also use the multi-edit which gives me a method to replace tags. I can append tags to it to multiple items. Um, the other thing that I use is not on this Worn outfits will tell you what you have worn that's in your RLV folder and you will be able to undress from there. Undress will let you undress. It shows you this window and it has all these item, uh, attachment points that you can click on and you can take clothes off. Very careful with that or you might take off your mesh body if you have a mesh body. And um, you can select to show all items, or you can select to show any. I just usually put it on all. You can also back up your um, inventory or, yeah, your wardrobe preferences. This allows you to set your preferences to the way you want. And the one that I would take a look at first is security. Set your security do a password so that way no one can get in and mess with your stuff all that work you know you can set your avatar sex and everything that you need 
uh, what you want. Be careful with this one. Uh, wardrobe contents. Clear wardrobe will erase everything that's in the interface on your browser. So just be careful. And here's where you can decide what you want to show in your menu bar. Uh, go into your preferences and under adjust item actions make sure you have take off checked and that way every time you put something on your wardrobe you have the little shirt that lets you wear everything in that folder or you have the you know uh, advanced wear but you, and the visibility and you have the ability to take off that item without having to take everything off okay so then you have your help and your logout which is self-explanatory and then on this side will be where your tags will be and if you hover over anything in here it will pop up with an explanation so if you forget what you're doing or if you forget how to use an item it will tell you what that's for and everything that you have has extra instructions when you log in or when you when you click on it like this one create link and it tells you what you need to do and you just follow on down you know and then you click OK and it creates that link and so on okay so let's go back to our inventory and we're going to set up the base outfit and the outfit that I am wearing now on Anna. And um, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, let's close this. Okay, okay, so first thing that I did was create a RLV folder. You have to have your pound sign and RLV all in caps or it doesn't work. That's how the system picks up that it's for RLV. And it sets it is a system folder. So you can you have to to make sure that it all shows up at the very top. Go into your little gear here and up at the top under sort options is sort system folders to the top. That helps pull all your system folders to the top and it will put your folder at the very top under Firestorm or Catsnip or whatever viewer you're using. Now, RLV, and, and if you don't know this already, you will now, RLV does not work in the SL official view viewer, so you have to use a third-party viewer that will allow RLV to be used. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to use RLV with the system. You can just use it as a cataloging system, but you know, RLV is not just for sexual activity. It's for a lot of stuff and a lot of HUDs will utilize it and um, let you use the uh, their HUD using the RLV system that you can dress yourself. It doesn't always have to do with BDSM. So don't let that, you know, turn you off. <clears throat> there is a use for it. So I have a list of folders that I set up first. My first folder I usually set, uh, why did I do that? Bear with me, I'm kind of tired tonight, is the base folder which is where you have your base avatar. That means your uh, mesh body and so on. And it's set up as an outfit and I'll show you how you do that in a minute. The next folder I usually have is the body parts, which is my mesh body, my hair, or not my hair, my ha eyes, you know, any kind of attachment that is considered a body part. Um, the next one is my collars, because yes, I am collared. Um, so, and I have a lot of really nice, pretty collars that that we like so I made a special folder for them then there's gadgets that includes any kind of HUD that doesn't fall into an AO or whatever <clears throat> next one is hair and I add a folder for my HUDs 
and then that could be anything from fertility hoods to building hoods any kind of hood that you add to your to your um, interface can go in there jewelry and then saved outfits I did a separate folder for shoes on my main because you know shoes I got lots of shoes toys that can be anything that you want it to be and wearables we'll be using the base outfit folder the body parts folder um, the hair and the wearables today and I will show you how to set the outfit that she has on right now as a saved outfit okay so first things that I do after I set up my folders is open up a second inventory window and the reason why it makes it easier so for the mesh body that I have on I have Maitreya it's easier to just go into things there's my Maitreya body and you can just drag this over to the body parts I changed the name I'm not, not of the body parts but of the body to Maitreya mesh body it's I know it's weird okay and then I add a folder in here with the dot don't wear and I put anything that I don't want to wear in that folder that I don't want to delete and you can delete everything that you don't want to you don't need or you can drag it into a folder like that the don't dot in front of the folder will say no you know don't show this in any kind of menu and that's via collar or the HUD it won't show up and anything that's in this folder won't be added to your avatar so I don't need all of these body parts so put that there I don't need the hand poses head or the classic hands so I put that in there I can go down here I don't need all of this stuff here drag that up there I don't need the update notes or anything like that you I mean you can delete it but it's just easier to do it this way now each and every one of these you can either leave as is whatever you're gonna wear on your body you can leave in the main folder or you can do what I do and that is add my uh, uh, individual folders for each object and it's there, there's a reason I do this so here is the Bintu hands they're gonna go on anyway actually let's rename this this is the body because everything that goes that is part of the body goes into this folder and that's your hands your feet uh, the mesh body itself and the feet shaper and then I add a HUD body HUD folder okay this this came with a bra and panty bra and panty set and here is the bra and panties HUD that's the color HUD and then this came with a lingerie but I'm gonna put that in the don't wear and so you have your your mesh body ready to upload um, and let's see I don't think that it's available on marketplace let's find out uh 
login. Okay, Matreya. Oops. I don't, I don't think it's available in Marketplace. I looked once before. Fine. <laughs> I cheat here just a little bit. And this is for your privacy, private wardrobe, so it doesn't really matter. Where the hell did I find that? All right, let's try Laura. All right, here you go. Here's so I copy image address, import, upload settings, and there's a button underneath here. It says or image URL. Right click and paste it, and it will paste that picture there. Then you name the title. It has to be the same title as your folder. So for instance, I did Maitreya Mesh Body for the folder name. Maitreya Mesh Body. The tags can be any way that you want them. But I do make one suggestion. Um, do a specific way that you do the tags for any kind of brand so that the brands all stay in one place. I use the curly Q brackets, Matreya, and that will add um, it in one area. And then when you get like, if you get something from Blueberry, then do Blueberry tag with the curly Q brackets and it'll put it all in that one spot. Comma separates your tags and then this is a mesh body so I usually add mesh body and then um, it has been to hands so I add been to so that I know that it has been to <coughs> Treya Laura mesh body two hands and any kind of remarks that you want and then here's where your subfolders are and I will show you how to quickly grab those really quick hits um, in a second I don't change anything else hit submit hit close and look it showed up and see if you look over here on the side where it has your tags you have been to and if you click been to then it would come up uh, you click mesh body it comes up you click Matreya, it comes up. Any brand that has the curly Q will be here in alphabetical order under the curly Q. So that's that's why I did that. Now to find the um, a quickly do the folders if you've got it set up right in your RLV in World. When you click this button with the gear that has on top of the T-shirt, and it will um, read the subfolders. You can highlight these, copy, close it out, go to the little pencil, paste, and clean it up a little bit. So you have your body folder, and you put a comma between it. You have the body hood, you put a comma between that and the bra and panties. Each folder name has to have a comma between it. And then that will show the folders. Click, I don't do anything else. I, I leave it the way it is. I don't add any of this stuff. Um, later when I do like special uh, base outfits and I set a base outfit up, then you know, it's right here. I can set, but right now I don't do anything much more than this. And you click okay. Underneath here you have all of your folders and all you have to do is just click those folders and that will come on. Like here is the bra and panties hood and if I click that and then I go back to SL, there's the bra and panties hood. And then to remove that, you can come over here and you can click on um, either remove which will remove the whole body 
or you can right click on the head and I, I suggest unless you want to remove the whole body just right click on the head and get rid of it so you've got your first folder set now she is wearing lamb hair the red pack so drag that I set it all up because I had so much hair on my mane I set up a special folder so this is lamb and I create a folder for that product lamb and then I drag the main folder into it this I'll rename I'll rename this to don't wear Don't forget to remember what you're not wearing. Because you don't need to wear, unless you have no mesh head, you don't really need to wear these, um, I don't know what the hell these are. Okay, so um, here is the hair. So I'll set a hair folder. and then you have your HUD, your color HUD so I set a color HUD folder and um, this was the ASK yeah, Lamb ASK Red Pack so I go over here to Marketplace Lamb Ask Red. And I just find anyone that has a red. Yeah, I want I want actually want the picture on this. Copy. Control C to copy if you're on a on a lap uh, desktop or Windows. I don't know what it is on Mac, so if you have a Mac you'll have to figure that one out. Sorry, I can't help there. And then um, go in here and it says under your import menu import from marketplace and right here is where you put your link so you hit control V to paste and then you click go and it will scan that item And it puts the picture from that ad in here so that um, now you know so in world I named the folder it is in lamb so here we have to wait a minute I did something off hair oh wait sorry under lamb add ask drag all of these items into the ask folder <laughs> and then under title it would be ask because that's the name of the folder in world hit curly q lamb curly q and then um hair and this one is red. Let me see hair color, red. You can actually do anything you want on the tags. And then the subfolders, you can do it this way too. Her subfolders is color head and hair. So you can type in hair, comma, color head and say OK and go to the lamb tag and it will be right there and to deselect any of these you click on the tag again you can select multiple tags you can deselect them all etc alright for my wearable I am wearing Oh, I forgot the head. I'll do one more thing and then I'm closing out this video because I'm wearing out. Um, 
under wearables, I am wearing Adam's shirt and an Adam's jean. So I will create a folder in wearables called Adams. And then I will drag these from this inventory window to the Adams folder and they will be in there. It is very, very simple to do this. Um, just let's make this bigger. So click make a new folder. Don't wear put everything that you don't want to wear in that folder. Just like we did the last time. I don't wear any of this, but I have a Belisa of Freya, so I, no, I don't, not on this avatar. I won't wear any of these, so you can do one of two things. You can delete them, and or you can move them in here. If you don't have access to, the, to a folder for it, like a backup folder, then yeah. I wouldn't suggest, I suggest not deleting. Okay, so this pair has a HUD and it has the jeans. So I make a folder for the jeans. Yeah, jeans. And I make a folder for the HUD. HUD. And the same thing with this don't wear folder. Oops. So this one, all of this, all of this, all of this, and this. Drag it to the don't wear, and you have the same thing. You have a shirt and you have a hood. So I will do a folder for the shirt. <clears throat> and I do a folder for the HUD. Now I know these are available on Marketplace, so let's do this again. So we go to Marketplace, I'll put in Adams, and I will go over here and click on her name, and the name of the outfit, the pants, is the real worn out jeans ocean. So we'll go real worn out. Oh, damn it. I can't spell tonight. Alright, jeans. And I believe it's this one. Here it is. Okay. So here is the jeans. And by the way, I love Adams. Okay. So here's the jeans. So you copy and paste the link and come back to your import, import from marketplace, highlight this, copy, paste, go. And there's your setup. And in world, I have it named. So let's rename this folder. Let's take the Adams out of the name because we have the main folder is Adams, so we don't need it twice. And we'll take the ocean part out because what if you have another pair of jeans that are the same and it's just a different color or you get the fat pack or whatever. So this is. We'll delete that and I will make copy paste paste into here and you, you can make this bigger so you can see it and I will delete all of these tags because I don't need them curly bracket atoms closing bracket these are jeans um, and the color is ocean, but I don't, I don't usually do that, uh, add anything else. I, right now I'm just keeping it simple. The, f the folder are, the folders are HUD and jeans. So jeans comma HUD. Say okay. 
Now click on Adams and it, you see it, it's right there. If you click on the little shirt and if everything is set up, then your little folders will show up here. You can set, you, you can either add or remove using this stuff or you can click on the, the jeans and the HUD and so on. So that is how you set up your, that's three outfits and it's really easy for me to do it this way. Uh, you know, you, you can use email, you can use taking a picture and downloading it to your computer, you can, you can use a texture UUID, I've done that before too, when I didn't have a texture I could share. There are multiple ways that you can do it and there are videos on YouTube that other people have done that shows how to do it. This is just a very, very simple way of doing it. Um, now, we'll, I'll set up the Skylar long sleeves real quick and I'll show you how to do um, the saved outfits and then I'm closing this out for the night. All right, so let's see what color did I have? I have the light blue. <coughs> so I have this one. Grab the link, copy, import, import from marketplace, highlight this, paste it, say okay or go, wait, for it and it's the same I'm changing the name of this in world in a minute from Adams and then taking off the light blue and I am adding I am making it a Skylar long sleeves this is the name of the folder highlight all this and delete a curly Q Adams curly Q that's probably not the name of it but that's what I call it and then this is shirt and then for the HUDs we have a HUD and a shirt and let's rename this now before I forget oh no actually I'll show you what happens when it doesn't match okay so a HUD and shirt so let's go back here and we'll type in shirt comma HUD and say OK now go to Adams and there are your options your your clothing now click on the gear to make sure that your inventory or your folders in world match and you'll notice look no folder found matching the items title and if you look at the name of the folder it's because I named it Skylar long sleeves and then in world my folder is named Adams backslash backslash Skylar long sleeves light blue so go in and rename your folder take out Adams and anything that doesn't belong click OK and it changes the name of it then go back to your interface click that little button with the gear again and watch there's your folders okay so now we can go over here and set up why did it do that all right why is it my haha <laughs> my uh Windows not the heck. Oh, that's why. Okay. All right. So let's go over and we'll run into a wall here because I don't know what's up with my camera right now. Let's turn around here. All right. So we're going to take a picture of this outfit the best that we can here. Make it small. So we're going to take a picture of this outfit. It's just going to be a simple picture. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not even going to pose myself. And just click save. I have a wardrobe folder already. And we want to say uh, jeans and shirt. Let's just name it jeans and shirt for now. Save the picture. Then 
in here in your inventory if you scroll down to current outfit take everything that is being worn as an outfit so that's your jeans your shirt and the hair where's the hair and the hair you copy the links come back up here to saved outfits and create a new folder call it jeans and shirt or whatever you named it paste those links there now for your base body so you want to create a new folder and this is Matreya base body so you'd go down to your current outfits folder anything that you have on that is part of the base body so that's your mesh body um, your whole body alpha your head um, any mesh items that's not part of a simple avatar a shape your a your AO anything that you actually want to keep wearing so copy put this in your base folder paste alright and we are going to go to the interface again and we want to import upload images this time we're clicking these three buttons and we will go to the wardrobe folder that I have in my documents wardrobe and then you choose the jeans and shirt open and there's your picture jeans and shirt take off the 001 I don't know why SL does that now I do a special tag for this one exclamation point saved outfits and I learned that from watching Butterwap Princesses videos <laughs> thank you so much and then the name of the outfit which is jeans and shirt and the remarks I'm just going to take all that out you don't need to worry about the subfolders submit okay and then close and now over here you can when you need to set up a base outfit, base outfits mean that whatever you put in this folder will go on you. Oh. Well, okay, anything that you put in your base outfits folder goes on you and you can move it up here. So that means it's anything that you want to wear. So you can activate editing and you drag that outfit up there. The deactivate editing and it will be your base outfit and you can set it to be put on every time. You can also delete the base outfit. Now and you can all this is a saved outfit and you can add it and wear it by the little wear button and it will wear it. Um, that's all for right now. I I can't do any more. I'm I'm wearing out it's getting late for me so I will close this out and upload it and send you the link later Jasmine talk to you later bye